Delivery now. Condon trying to do. We said just before, trying to curl it into the top left. Doesn't get a foot around it enough, and in the end, doesn't trouble Barbieri. Having an underrated campaign. Anna Wilkinson, on the other hand, very much rated, and a header in now. Condon just going wide. Off the corner, delivered by Fiona Wirtz. Well, you've got to say that's a, a lovely ball in there by Wirtz. And it's rare that Rebecca Stott is muscled off a challenge there, but Condon has done extremely well to get first to that ball. Condon back onto the field now. Dorber, that's a lovely ball across the face. Check out. Have an intercept. I believe it was Isabel Hodgson playing the ball over the top once again. Polisina to deliver all the way across the face. It was a great delivery, just perhaps a little bit too much on it. No Melbourne City player able to connect. Well, we will get another look at this one here. It's a beautiful delivery, just that ball. Rebecca Stott knows she had to do better with that. She's almost glanced away from that opportunity and all it needed was a, a touching glance in header and that would have been in the back of the net for Melbourne City. Here in the City of Churches. Polisina with the touch to open things up. Back on the ball now. Polisina deflected and collected by Grove. That felt a little bit more lively from City there. Really just a nice ball through from Hannah Wilkinson. Three, two, one. Both coaches to address at the halftime break. Hayward, can Adelaide get one? The strike just wide and saved in the end by Barbieri. That is brilliant from both Adelaide United and Melissa Barbieri. Oh, well, that is a clutch save from Barbieri there. The early ball over the top, and I love that Haywood has hit this first time. And for words, time in her run onto the flight of that ball. Barbieri claiming. And that will be half time. Adelaide United nil, Melbourne City nil. For City, we saw them almost score. Rebecca Stott glancing the header in the first half. Can they amend it across the face once again? An almost carbon copy of the first half. Marissa Vandermeer, the youngster, potentially getting onto it. At the end, just drifting wide. Oh, that is a brilliant opportunity for Melbourne City. And you think that has to be a sure thing by Vandermeer there. She's almost left with just completely unmarked in the box and it's just a side foot into the back of the net. Paige Hayward with one of her first involvements at in it right back. Stott looking to dink it. Now an opportunity for Polisina dancing around, making it 1-0. Breaking the deadlock. And the away side, Melbourne victory, take the lead through a lovely bit of footwork and tucking it away. It's Rihanna Polisina. That's a, a lovely little chippy ball in there from Rebecca Stott as she finds herself in the middle of the park with not too much pressure on her and Adelaide United just failed to really defensively clear that one effectively and, and not too much Annalie Grove can do in that situation but defensively Adelaide had just sat down there and Polisina credit to her for, for tucking that one away but this lovely little death ball through from Rebecca Stott had just a, a beautiful amount of spin and texture on it and Melbourne City, you'd say, against the run of play, have taken the lead. It's good from Hayward. Condon with a lovely move out wide, and the ball in now for the substitute. Melissa Barbieri reading that one well, coming off her line and resolving the danger. And that looked a little bit better there for Adelaide United as well. Emily Condon with some lovely, lovely footwork. Condon now for Adelaide. Dorber. Good ball over the top, it can find Wurtz. Sneak its way through for Condon here in the box, one on one. Straight down the throat of Melissa Barbieri. And you have to put that away. 
if you're Emily Condon. You don't get any better chances than that. And the number eight. Wilkinson dinked over for Polisina, looking for two, gets contact, goes down, not given by Girardello. Polisina perhaps looking for it. Well, Girardello was in a really good position to have a good look at this. And that is full time. Melbourne City continuing their good form against the Reds. They finish the game 1-0 victors.